Hi there, welcome to my channel, Decoupage DIY with Joan Marie Domino. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do reverse decoupage on little glass bowls I got from the Dollar Tree. I'll be using Mod Podge along with beautiful napkins I get from Vippy's Designs Decoupage Napkin Shop, www.vippies.com. With reverse decoupage, I'm going to be putting the napkin underneath the bowl. So you're actually going to see it through the glass just like that. I have a little bonus project I'm going to do as well, which is these little candle holders that I also got at the Dollar Tree. So before I do anything, I wanna give the glass a nice surface to use, to put the glue on, to put the paint on. I'm just taking alcohol prep pads. I'm gonna wipe it all over and then I'm gonna give it some time to dry. Here's a napkin I got from Vibby's Designs. It's for Valentine's Day, but I'm only going to use part of this because I think with the heart, we can use it for other things besides Valentine's Day. So I'm going to use the top printed layer and I'm going to take my water brush. If you're not familiar with the water brush, it's got a little tube and the water feeds through into the end where the brush is. And I'm going to trace around the design and what's happening is the water is weakening the napkin, so I'm able to do a nice soft tear going all the way around the edge. A soft deckled edge is important because then it will blend right in with the paint. I'm going to hold it up because I want you to see what I mean by a soft deckled edge. Now I'm going to be adding some extreme glitter decoupage glue. It's regular decoupage glue, but it has glitter in there. So I'm going to shake it up really good to make sure the glitter is well mixed. And now I'm going to put it on the back of the bowl. Remember, this is reverse decoupage, so we're going to be looking through the bowl, so everything's gonna be on the back and nothing is going on the inside. While it's still wet, I'm going to take that little piece of napkin, the heart, and I'm going to flip it over because remember, we're gonna see through the glass. I'm going to tap it down with my fingers a little bit, and then I am going to get a piece of saran wrap and I'm gonna put that down right on top of the napkin. I'm going to take a piece of wadded up napkins. It's actually the back ply, so I'm just gonna smooth it some more. And I start from the center and I go out. Now I'm going to remove the plastic wrap. Now I'm gonna pick it up. I want you to see what I mean by reverse decoupage. See, we're seeing the image through the glass before I put away the Extreme Glitter Decoupage Glue, this is my little bonus project, which is these little tea light holders from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna go all over the outside of the little candle holder, and then I'm just going to put it off to dry. My little glass bowl is dry, so now it's time to go on to the next steps. Yeah, you can see that glitter from the Extreme Glitter Decoupage Glue. And remember, we're looking right through the glass. That's why the napkin is on the bottom. All right, this step is very important. This is Dora Clear Gloss Varnish Sealant. I'm gonna put that on the back now on top of the napkin, and I'm doing that because the next step after this is to put white paint on. If I don't put a sealant on first, the white paint is going to seep right through the napkin. So I'm just going to take it, it's very thin, and I'm just gonna go over the whole thing. I'm going over the napkin, and I'm also doing the glass that doesn't have a napkin on it. Now that the door clear sealant is dry, look how pretty that is. I'm going to go over it now with the white linen paint. Now, once I finish doing this, I'm going to flip it over and you're going to see what a difference it makes. The image really pops once you put the paint on. So I'm using my sponge pouncer and I'm just going to go all over the back of the bowl, the underneath of the bowl until it's completely covered. Now, because this is a little bit blotchy with just one coat, I'm gonna let it dry, and then I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna put in coat number two. I wanna hold it up and show you. Look how that heart, the colors in that heart just pop once I put that white paint behind it. Now, here is the other one that doesn't have paint behind it, and both very, very pretty, but the white paint really makes that napkin and those colors pop. All right, now it's dry and we're ready to go ahead and put on the second coat of paint. I'm gonna apply it the same way with my sponge pouncer. For the next step, I'm going to put on something that's going to highlight those wrinkles. That's right, in this project, we're gonna actually embrace those wrinkles. I'm using Silver Rub and Buff. This is a waxy paste metallic. I'm gonna put a little bit on my paper plate 
And then I have an old rag and you only need to put a little bit on, a little bit goes a long way. And I'm going to start to rub it all over the back of the bowl, the underneath bowl on top of the napkin. You can see I'm really highlighting it. It looks so pretty. So I'm going to do the whole bowl and I'm going to put it off to dry. But I want to show you, I also did one in gold, the same stuff, rub and buff, but in the gold metallic. So all I used were some little glass bowls. I got them from the Dollar Tree. They came four in a pack. I got a beautiful napkin from Vippy's Designs and I only used the heart and you can see through the glass so nothing's going inside the bowl. Everything is going on the outside of the bowl and I added some metallic on both of them. There's one that doesn't have the paint so you can see the difference but you can see all of that glitter that's for sure. Here's another napkin and another bowl that I did. This one I would say is a little bit more Valentine's-y I guess you would say because of all of those hearts. All right, on to my bonus project, which is these little candle holders, these votive candle holders I got from the Dollar Tree. I had already put on the Extreme Glitter Decoupage Glue, and now I'm gonna put on Extreme Glitter Decoupage Paint, and the color I'm using is champagne. I'm gonna stir it up a little bit, mix it up. I'm gonna put a little bit on my plate, and then I'm going to start to brush it right on top of the Extreme Glitter Decoupage Glue. So we're going to go all the way around. I'm giving it a nice generous coat. And I'm going to also do the bottom of the little glass holder. And now I'm going to put another step on. Now that it's dry, I'm using what's called Glitterific Pop. And this has got glitter in it and little pieces of foil. I have used it in other videos. Now I put one coat on again. And I'm going to put a second coat. And I just want you to see what it looks like. The white part, that's the glue part. That's going to go away. I want you to notice the little pieces of foil in there and I can just move it around with my brush. Now I have one I did two coats on already. It's so pretty. All right, I'm back to my bowls and the rub and buff is now dry and I want to put a sealant on the back and I'm going to go back and use my Dora Clear Gloss Varnish. That's going to be my sealant. All right. Once the sealant dries, you are going to be able to use these bowls. The inside is just glass. However, no dishwasher and no microwave and now I'm going back to my little glass devotive holders and I'm also going to use Dora Clear on it and I'm going to put that on the back and again it's very thin so you want to do two thin coats let one coat dry and after it's dry go ahead and put a second coat on. And now you know how to do reverse decoupage. Head over to my YouTube channel, Decoupage DIY with Jo Marie Domino. Subscribe, give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and I'll meet you up on Facebook and Instagram.